I know uh, you've all received a letter from uh, Minister Farnworth this morning. I want you to know you all received that letter. I did not. Uh, I have finally received it now. So um, first of all, um, I'm going to reiterate this. I know you've, I've said it many times, but the Police Act is very clear. Surrey Council decides on the municipal police force we choose. Surrey has done that. We did that in December. We confirmed that last week. Um, it is also clear to me that the Solicitor General has an option on the police force that he wants to see. And until he gets his way, he will continue to put up roadblocks and change the goalposts every step of the way. And that's what he did again today. Furthermore, he has no interest in creating dialogue with City Council and he prefers to make his public statements in the media through you. He still has not called me. I asked to speak to both him and the Premier after the vote. He chose not to, to uh, talk to me. I haven't talked to him since. I got a, a rather aggressive email from one of his political staff at 10 o'clock on Friday night. I responded to it, uh, but that staffer did not call me back. Um, I did talk to uh, I did talk to Premier Eby and uh, Minister Farnworth prior to the meeting on on Thursday, um, but uh, as I said, he he chose not to speak to me after. Uh, for such an important matter for the people of Surrey, I find it incredibly incredibly disrespectful that this issue is not important enough for him to communicate directly with me direct, or directly with the elected governing body of the city of Surrey. I want to make it really clear. There is no public safety issue in Surrey. There is no public safety issue in Surrey. I spoke with the OIC today. He reconfirmed that. Um, I actually find it uh, fear-mongering on behalf of both the Premier and the Solicitor that he would go out with those uh, kind of statements. Frankly, it is dis disappointing, it's disrespectful to Council, to the people of Surrey, to the people that are the men and women working in law enforcement in this city. that that we and they are being used as bargaining chips by the NDP government. Um, I also want to tell you, the secrecy agreement, the NDA, that was foisted upon us in council was something that Minister Farnworth put out there. That wasn't something that was ever something the city wanted to do. I've always wanted to be transparent about the process. He eliminated that when he uh, forced the NDA on us. So um, that is why it took us a little longer to sign those NDAs for some of us. Some of us signed it quickly. Now I can tell you the 15th we made the decision the 16th was Friday. We had literally one day, one day. And he expects us to have everything ready and a report to him by noon. And he's saying, we're playing games? Mr. Solicitor General, shame. Um, I also want to tell you that as of uh, 1130, about, I'll be precise. 1127 today, we received the NDAs, the non disclosure agreements, the secrecy agreements that this minister is imposing on everybody. We received those today at 1127.
Today, once again, we have a Solicitor General taking the issue, the issue of public safety and using it in the media rather than dealing with the very people he should be talking to if he has such a concern, which clearly he may not or does not. He should be talking to the officer in charge and he should be talking to the police board. I chair the police board. Didn't contact me. Well, Minister Farnworth, the NDAs have been sent to you, your staff, and you have now signed them. You will receive the report you are asking for. That is less than two working days. I don't think we've done too bad in Surrey. Uh, after the months, the six months you took to do anything with this report. And we know, uh, if I look back at my emails or my letters from the minister in November, he was quite prepared to look at this then. What changed? I don't know. 